Aren't they cute? Don't worry, Annie is only sat up there because I'm about to do my holiday haul. So um, they're having a little catch up. Oh, just be still, my beating heart. I love my baby so much. Oh, Annie wants to watch. Annie's going to join us, aren't you, Annie? So when I was in those um, the pod places. I am um, the place with the pods in, which was really, really good. And we went down the mine <clears throat> there. There was a toy shop and he was selling um, all sorts. He was selling wooden, handmade wooden toys, uh, little bears, well, well, just all sorts of different, different collection of toys. And so one of them I was first drawn to was this TY. And he had lots of retired bears and that in cabinets and things. And this is Raffaella, all of a flutter over you. Lovely, lovely wings. And really cute with the little flowers in her hair. And look at these little, I can't remember what you call them. Millie's playing in the background. She is adorable. You want to hold her? Oh, look, yeah, that's going to be a very special, special bear, and I'll tell you why in a minute. And the other thing I picked up in there was this clown. It's a clown, lovey, and look, it has little slippers with it. I mean, <clears throat> I don't think I've ever seen anything like these in my life. <laughs> I think they're so cute. And I don't really know, but I wanted them in my collection. <laughs> Because I think that these are the sorts of things that are really like unusual and you, things you don't really come across every day. The man told me that it was it was um, like a vintage item. Um, basically that's what he did. He had lots and lots of like vintage vintagey bits and pieces. So I got these. The Q and A. Yes, the nice colours. Same colours as you on today, blue and red. <clears throat> and then I picked up one of these in, in the candle store. It's Angel's Wings and it's got room for a tea light. I've seen these. I've had one saved on my Amazon list for a long, long time. And um, it's a gold coloured. And I bought these two because I would like to have some sort of um, area where I have a memorial to the babies I miscarried. <clears throat> that was a very long time ago and they were never acknowledged or anything then. You were basically just in one day in hospital or not and out the next or not. You didn't even go to hospital. They were just like, yeah, you'll be fine as long as you're not, you know, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I don't want to talk about that. I don't want to upset anybody, but yeah, I wanted to set up a little memorial and I've been thinking about that for a while. And that's why I got those two items. I was really, really loved it when I saw that because it was on my um, Amazon wishes. Oh no, the other store where I bought the, the, um, the TY and the clown, this was a store. Sorry, this is not in the right, yeah, right way. Okay, for fighting the camera. The camera's upside down today and I'm not feeling it. It says Tawny Owl Toys and Gifts. That's where we went to. Caris. Chorus Craft Centre. Amazing place. Just loved it there. I got these. <coughs> little, little clips. 
Look, little cat one. A little hedgehog one. Because I'm just drawn to hedgehogs at the moment. I don't know if it's because we've moved. <laughs> and then I found a clown one. So I was like, oh, yes, please. <laughs> I'll take all of those three. <laughs> and then I found... He also had... Say I found. He also had various sizes of Welsh uh, love spoons. So these are traditional um, Welsh spoons are. And they're given to, um, they're like tokens of, of like love, I love you and that sort of thing. And, and the, um, the chaps would um, make these with a, he'd usually put in his own type of message and um, he gave it to his sweetheart. And it comes from the 17th century, I think, if I remember rightly. Actually, we can have a look because I have a towel, tea towel, but it's lovely, hand carved. So what I think I'm going to do with this is um, put a magnetic strip on the back and then I can put it in hillside on my metal cupboards. And I might actually do the same with each of these, just put a metal strip on the back that you can buy in craft centres. And then stick it up. And here, let's see if, we, if I remember that right. I know about if we, you know, you just know about these things when you travel around and you get older and you see things. Welsh love spoons in here. It tells you all about it in Welsh. Although I can't speak that, but I know there is somebody in the comments who can. And they've got daffodils all around there. And I don't know what it is. There's like a tea towel thing in this country. It's like you go on holiday and you buy a tea towel. So they go all the way down and then it is says at the bottom. The custom of carving love spoons originated in Wales in the early 17th century. They were given as tokens of affection with the elaborately carved handles bearing a symbolic message from the donor to his sweetheart. Look at that one. I mean, that's really, it's really elaborate isn't it and he did he had a lot there a lot of big ones as well huge ones but um yeah that's cute it needs a few washes because it won't um it won't absorb anything yeah <laughs> it's a hundred percent cotton and you know usually needs a little bit of a wash to get it nice and smooth um so, oh Yes, I've got lots and lots of postcards because I'm a postcard collector. So sometimes if I send gifts out, I just send a postcard. Um, not just, I send a postcard. Um, because I just love them and it's just quicker, Celtic Cross. This is the heel fort that you would have seen in the other video that I showed you. I really, really enjoyed that place. Welsh flag. And this here is probably the longest name in the world. <laughs> we actually went to this village. It's like the longest name in the world. A church, Mary, a hollow white hazel near the rapid whirlpool church saint's name, Cave Red. <laughs> no idea what it means, how it all came about. Oh, is this the same one? Yeah. And that is another centre that we went in and got some uh, some other traditional Welsh bits and bobs. Just went in for a look, really, because these are sort of places that where you... Oh, I think I know where we got to, but Grumpy just rang. Grumpy rang in between. I think we got to this one. Castles of Wales. Got two of those. And Anglesey. We went to Anglesey. And this is where Prince William and Princess Catherine um, lived when they first got married. So we went to there as well. It's a little island off the top of um, Wales. Um, it doesn't look like it's like an island. It's got a road that goes over to it, a bit like the Isle of Skye, really. But it was lovely and I loved it and I had a great time. So if Somebody may get some of those in the near future because I'll just put them in with my postcard stash. <laughs> I've always got to do it. Always, always, always. And then I got this lovely little um, 
It's like a sister angel ornament with photo frames and gift cards um, in, in one of the lovely gift shops there. It's really cute. Connected always, growing, trusting, blooming, learning, loving together. We are soul sisters. You know my heart. And isn't that lovely? Oh, what's this? See, they're all coming out now. Oh, festival cards, yes. <laughs> A recipe from Wales, Welsh rabbit. <laughs> Bit of fancy cheese on toast, really. But that's a traditional thing. Russell loves Welsh rabbit. And um, Barra Brief. This is a bread loaf. Oh, and this is a little thing about the... Oh, and it tells you... Yeah, I like to pick this one up. It tells you about carved wooden spoons and what they think they're like, all the different symbols mean. Here's the symbols down the side here. And this is what it means over here. Isn't that lovely? Many of the symbols have specific meanings, but personal message were also incorporated into the final design. And it was most likely to be early form of an engagement ring. So cute. <coughs> okay, so in the candle shop where I got that, so I'm totally not organized, am I? In the candle shop where I got that. All these candles. A <laughs> Christmas candle. Look at it. They were handmade. They're handmade there. The, on that actual area. They won't fit in there. That's, that's a tea light holder. Really. So I thought if I show you the haul today. Because I bought these as, as little gifts. Another one. Look at that little Christmas design. This one, Robin. It's my favourite bird. Robin. Look at the birdie. Annie likes birdies too. Look at the birdie, Annie. And I think I've got another Christmas one. So you can actually see them being dipped there. Oh, no. So I did get three of those. Um, I think these are from the candle shop as well. Let's see what this is. <laughs> oh, yeah, a shampoo bar. This is a shampoo bar. So my youngest daughter is into um, less packaging waste and those sorts of things. Mint, mint sorcery. And then I've got these. This is a traditional Welsh food, lava bread. It is seaweed. It is seaweed. So it's traditional because you can get the, sea, the seaweed all along the coast. So if you had, it was one of the things that you could always get to feed the family. And they eat it usually with cockles. And these are... Traditional traditional meals. Russ had a meal actually with um, lava bread and cockles in his like with his breakfast with his bacon and eggs and stuff like that. Um, and I declined to try that. <laughs> Thank you. So we bought them back. Bought them back for a lot of friends. Um, oh yeah, there's another thing from the candle shop that I got for Christmas. Got two of these Christmas candles. Look at them. They are lovely. They're going to be so nice. They're both the same, but they're going to be so nice on my table. 
at Christmas. I'm I'm a traditional girl at Christmas, reds and greens, and a mixed match of a tree. <laughs> what are you, tell me what you like. These are the sorts of things that I like. Okay, let me just get these bits out. So we went into a um, into the food part at the same car centre craft center they had handmade gin and their gin is like renown it's i can't remember the whole the whole leaflet about it does it say it on the back no it's particularly a special area no it's um so it's hand it's like hand handmade i don't know foraged and then it's only but it's only made in a small center so it's not like mass produced i've got one of those my um mid, el eldest daughter likes gin and then russ got his mum some honey mead and we bought honey from here and it was absolutely delicious so I'm sorry it was a bit like, oh, I got this there and this there and this there, but I'm sure nobody minds. I bought a sticker down in um, the longest store, the longest village name. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I'm going to put it in a hillside. It's like a car sticker. <laughs> it's just so funny. Look at that. And I asked the man on the door to tell me, to tell me what it was. Like, to say it in Welsh. And it was just so long. Wowzers. It's just amazing. That was an amazing store. I really enjoyed that store. I bought these in that store as well. I did, Annie. You did miss miss. Yeah. Got these for Father Christmas. They are massive big stockings. Can you remember having these years ago? <laughs> Look at them. They're like huge great plastic stockings that I can remember from my youth, my childhood. Sometimes you could get them pre-filled with toys as well. <laughs> I put, put them up because I thought that'd be fun at Christmas. And there. I've just got, and another thing I got from the, from the Chorus Craft Centre was this, and this is beautiful. This is handmade. Um, I watched a man making it. It's a dragonfly made of glass that's going to hang in hillside in the window it's brilliant isn't it absolutely brilliant put the little card in here I actually watched the man doing it there's a writing for Welsh folk and here it is. He made lovely, lovely plants. Oh my gosh. Flowers. Oh, amazing, amazing. And I wanted to bring some of them home, but we were on the start of the holiday and I just thought they'd probably get damaged. I thought this would be smaller, be much easier to protect <laughs> from Mr. Grumpy. There we go. Um, this was a really good, this was a really good magazine I picked up, um, like a tourist attraction mag I got from somewhere. And it was stuff on the Isle of Anglesey. So there's the Isle of Anglesey. And here's the road that you can use to just cross over to it there. This road crosses over there. 
Um, we visited there. Whilst we were there, we went to the Transport Museum. And that's where the Weavers, James Pringle Weavers of, the longest name in the world. <laughs> I don't know if it is, but I think it might be. <laughs> it was so neat. So much fun. Well, there we go, everybody. There's my haul. There's my haul from my holiday. Isn't it cute? Oh, it's such a blast, such an absolute blast on holiday. What do you think, Annie? I know there's lots of lovely, nice things there, isn't there? Hey, lots of lovely, nice things. Thank you for joining me. Um, we will resume to normal, normal videos <laughs> shortly. But I am um, catching up on a lot of, lot of videos that I want to put out on, on the channel. I know they don't, all, they're not all about the reborns at the moment, but please check in the playlist because there are playlists and playlists. Each of my reborns has their own playlist. There are playlists in there for each of my reborns that I've had that are no longer with us. So if you liked Harry or Heidi, their playlists are still in there. Um, if you like day in the life, week in the life, they're all still there. I, I will get back to those as soon as as soon as I've cleared my backlog of videos, which I'm starting to do now. Now, as I'm uploading one, I can um, video something else like this haul is videoed at home today. So we will resume. It's, with some, it's nice to see something different anyway. I think so. And I had such a blast. It was the first holiday me and Russ have had together since 2019 due to COVID. So there we go. We had a blast and it was lovely, lovely, lovely um, supporting so many small businesses, which is basically what we did. Um, so there we go. I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.